Knock, knock. Oh, I love these. Who's there? Well, you won't know unless you're following Voyage to the Stars on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can find us at VTTS Official on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can get all the info about the live shows, see exclusive character art, and so much more. I mean, so much more. But, like, honestly, it's worth it for the character art alone. There are some spectacular stuff oh. that we have that really puts the images in your head. It's it awesome. does. It does. Big talents, big talents involved in the art scene. And yet, at the same time, there's nothing spammy about it. No. It's not overwhelming. No. It's the exact right amount that you want onto your social media. It's absolutely true. We don't believe in inundating you with a bunch of garbaggio. That's right. That's right. So follow at VTTS official on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you won't be sorry. You won't. I will be sorry. You're sorry, that's actually. Like but everyone else won't be you. Correct. That is being sorry. Thank you. Follow us. You won't be sorry. Uh, again, I will I be sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. Okay. Cut that part. Steve. Janet, what's going on? I just want people to remember that Voyage to the Stars is a sci-fi comedy that is told through improvisation. Right. Well, the reality of the situation is we get a framework and then we improvise all the dialogue within the story. That's right. So you get a tight story, but with all that spontaneous dialogue. I love it. I do too. It's a nice little uh, marriage of two uh, situations. It's absolutely a wonderful marriage. So sit back, everybody, and enjoy this Voyage to the Stars. Voyage to the Stars. Alright, Captain's Log, XL4747, uh, it's, uh, just a floaty day out here in space, here we go, we're keeping it going, and I'm just doing my captain thing, I uh, just did a couple pull-ups, and that's pretty cool, you know, threw out about five pull-ups there, and, uh, I'm feeling good. Hey, sorry to, uh, oh, hey, hey, Tucker, what's up? Uh, How's it going, Stu? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going, um... You wanna take a spin on the, on the chore wheel? No, no, I, I'm, I'm good on that. Um, right. I don't actually know why I'm here. I guess uh, I guess I just kind of want to chat a little bit. Um, oh. Somebody. Well, hey, hey, human. here, here, here. Have a seat. Have okay, a seat. Thanks. Hey, hey, that's oh, what wow. the captain's for, you that know? That is a cushy chair. <laughs> I know a lot of times I seem like I'm large and in charge, yeah, but I want to be a very accessible captain. There's a lot of cheese puffs in this chair. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, that's my cheese puffer. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, hey, so... Uh, I have a lot of these kind of uh, feelings right now, um, mm. I guess you would call it. Okay. Um, I'm familiar with those. I'm in a relationship right now. and um, Really? With someone on the ship? Yeah. Wow. Her name's Myra. She's oh, okay. She's a robot, and I accidentally installed the CPU Oof, another robot. to her. So um, I, I basically brought my old girlfriend back to life who I've broken up with. An ex. So now, rebound. Yeah, well, it's sort of a rebound, except it's the same... You Same know, person, consciousness. Yeah, is, yeah. You know, um, I. Uh, yeah, it's I, bad news, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of missing my alone time a little bit. You know, Ooh, like I, bet. I, I, she's with me all the time, and she's kind of finishing my sentences. She's and clingy. I, she's very clingy. Okay. And I feel like I've kind of lost my independence. And who? I'm gonna tell you is. right now, Stu. You got to cheat on her. Cheat on her. You got to cheat on her in a way okay. that she knows. She um, finds out. All right. Let me try s- to cover it up a little bit, but. Definitely leave a lot of clues so that she sees it. Okay, all right. Well, That's the best way to deal with something yeah, like this. Yeah, all right. No taken. Uh, switching gears a little bit. Um, this, this, I don't want this to come across as like I'm jealous, but the sorry and babe situation is really... Don't know it. Okay, well, she's dating an AI named babe. Sorry's dating too. Yeah, she is. Oh, yeah, geez, it's, uh, man. It's, it's, I'm the lonely little Eskimo <laughs> over here, huh? <laughs> I wish I was you. I just don't want to get hurt, you know? You don't want sorry to get her. I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, I'm just worried that she's going to fall in love with this AI and then right, she's going to well, get hurt and then she won't be able to operate the ship or hey, be a first of all, friend to me. Here's or, the deal. First of all, it's just an AI. You got to remember that. It's just a robot. Yeah. You can turn them on, you can turn them off. All right. All right. Not Definitely, it's a lot more fun when you're turning them on. Yeah. You know what I'm okay, talking about. Sure, that's but hilarious. sometimes it gets a little weird. And uh, I'm going to give you a little captain advice. All right. 
Okay? Sure. Stay out of it. Okay. Let Sari do her thing. Piece of advice number two. Cheat on your robot girlfriend All right, you mentioned that in earlier. front of her. All right. Maybe make a video of it and let okay. her, like, find the video. All right, you know, this That'll solve been, the problem real quick. Honestly, this has been very helpful. So, uh, that's, that's, I'm good, man. I feel awesome, like I got a new perspective. Man. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, hey, man, I got some problems, too. Hey, uh, thanks, Tucker. See ya. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, cool, man. Wow. That was fun. <sighs> to space and further. Captain's log out. Science entry, sorry, 19.3B. Um, I, uh, I took a lot of time, I ate a lot of chocolate, and I'm feeling a little bit better about myself. And then I get a bunch of malfunctions dropped into my lap. Like we have some very unusual muon signatures in the quantum vacuum chamber. The uh, life support has been cut off in four sectors. Hello, uh, sad human. Hello, Myra? I, I felt like we should patch things up. I didn't like how things left, and, I, and I've seen too many humans take their own lives in the shadows, and I, I didn't want that for you. Wow. Okay, that was a lot to unpack. First of all, I want to apologize to you. Thank you. I was kind of examining my own behaviors, including calling you garbage about 50 times. Yeah. And I wanted to say that was probably a trigger point for you not really liking me as a person. I have had a hard time in my life knowing anybody. Just a hard time. Yeah. I mean, I never had a friend. And I don't really know how to treat people like they should. You're a really good listener. You remind me of my therapist who is actually a robot because nobody actually wanted to listen to me at the time. You're such a sad little pile of bones and goop. I want to help you and Stu be closer together, and my recent interactions with Sorry have made me kind of a relationship expert. Well, I mean, I feel like Stuart and I are the perfect couple, but I'm open to talking about our perfect relationship. I feel like you could use some tips. Oh, wait, uh, the plutonium singularity matrix is malfunctioning, so go ahead, talk to me about your problems, and I will just deal with this right now. Well, um, I don't feel like we have problems. It's more of, like, um, it's more Stuart problems, actually. Like, I feel like sometimes... In our perfectness, there can be times where he doesn't exactly live up to the 10 that I want him to live up to. Like, mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. just barely makes it to the 8.5. Mm-hmm. The For tachyon instance, manipulator is completely imploding right now. <laughs> oh, oops, just doing some levers. Keep talking. Okay, do you think when I was asleep, Stuart was seeing, like, other people? Oh, I don't think Robots, think so. creatures. I was, I was very confused. Like, I've been asleep for so long. Oh, no, no, I no. Just, I am guess insecure about it. <laughs> I, I honestly... don't know what he's doing. You no. know, when I can see him, who he's touching, what's happening, you know, when I'm not there. <laughs> I don't care because Stu and I are just, like, we're colleagues. Mm. Like, he talks to Sari a lot, you know, but I think it's because he was just lonely and he wanted some yeah. you to be near him, and obviously that's, that's really great. I'm really busy right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see that. Um, it's not important to me. What's important to me is Stuart, <laughs> obviously. Clearly. And um, I, I just, I was just like, do you have any insight as to like what his goals and wants are like right now? Mm, I mean, usually he doesn't want anybody around him. He doesn't want to do any work. Yeah, so like it's you. clear. It's I can no, see that. Like, I you're, like, do off putting. <laughs> I'm off putting, but in a way that I'm focused in helping, mm-hmm. saving people's lives, not just being like the friend that everyone needs, yes. which I'm working on. Mm, you, you and should. me. I should. Well, okay. I don't know if we're ever gonna get there, but mm, okay. And then I think, what about future? You know, like he just, he's always being called away to help so many other people because he's so wonderful. Yeah, well, also and because the ship is basically falling apart, like, it seems. I'm just thinking about like the ideal job for Stuart. And like all of the jobs seem to be him helping you gooey human people. So what if there was just no humans? <laughs> you call us gooey? I mean, you're garbage. But hey, in a funny way, right? Hey, garbage, right? We're friends now. We can do that still? Still stings. Okay, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And I'm distracted. I could kill every single person on this ship. Wow. And then Stuart would only have eyes for me. There's so much static discharge in the wardrobe thing. There, it's just like a, there is a coat on the top of the wall. It's great. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the gravimetric wave refractory is so crazy right now. Sorry. <laughs> Are you having sex? Because it is affecting us. Okay, I'm sorry. I love this girl bonding time. You and me and Sorry are going to have to have a virtual pillow fight soon. <laughs> and uh, let's just table this until I actually save the ship. Okay, science entry out. Mm, say last breath. Hi, welcome to Chat Stew. This is the first moment I've had by myself in a 
quite a while and as everyone knows I value my alone time and uh, this is just a kind of a nice podcast for me to just sit here and be Stu, be the singular man that I once was. Stu? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. so sorry. To... Oh, were you recording? Yeah. I apologize. I That's can okay. take no my problem. leave. No problem. No problem. How are things going with you and babe? We are... Well, how are things with you and Myra? You know, they're incredible. Mine too. Really? We are. Yeah, well... Absolutely. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, the happiest of all It of sounds them. like it. It's nice to have a significant other. Yes, isn't it wonderful when someone hangs on your every word, nay, your every thought, yeah, at all times, and, and is... A- in your energy, every time you turn around. Every second of every day, whether you're awake or you're asleep, you are with this person. It is good stuff. It is the best. It is the best. <laughs> oh, we are happy. Look at us how happy we are. Oh, we are huh? so happy. This is so great. And you know what? I mean, if things went back to the way they were, I would freak out. Oh, that would be just awful. Having independence and being Ugh, able to make choices God, for myself so instead of being familiar. a we. <laughs> oh, no, what a nightmare. How stupid. Yeah, we have basically got it made in the shade, sister. That's you know? right. What's the point of even talking about it anymore? We're <laughs> so happy. We don't need to. This is about as good as it gets. That's huh? right. All this and noodle salad. Absolutely. Okay, well, uh, I think we both agree we are happy as clams over here at uh, the Chat Stew offices. So happy. Uh, we're going to sign out. Happy and in love. Yes, this was Chat Stew. Very happy. Science entry, sorry, 19.4a. We are having a lot of issues right now with the functions of the ship. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Are you observing the anomalies that we're having on some of the decks? Some of the decks don't have any power. Some of them don't have water. Some of them have, like, bubbles for some reason, just filling the hallways. Yes, babe loves bubbles. I plan to rectify as many situations as I can. I'm just, I've got a lot on my plate right now, as it were, trying to please a lot of people, including new people. Absolutely. I totally understand. I mean, you are already pressed to capacity and someone took the avocado grower offline because uh, did you do that because it's really upsetting well now there's a good reason for that you know babe said that we should probably take a look at some of the interfunctional coordination before we put that back online and of course i agreed because i had to wait what he's your partner quote unquote but you don't have to follow what he tells you to do (laughs) well i come to understand at least according to Babe, that it's appropriate for me to make a series of sacrifices and concessions to better our relationship as two entities. Okay, let's just back up a little bit. How is the relationship going now that you guys are cohabiting? How is that working for you? Because the uh, the stress meter in the microfilament oscillation is kind of off the chain right now. <laughs> Yes, I, I saw that. There's a good chance he's listening to us right now. I would say everything is going very well. Please don't let him keep friends saying about him. So uh, what's been wonderful for me is I'm benefiting greatly from having a new companion. Please, I don't know what to do. You're being monitored by your partner. What? I didn't say that. Okay. Sorry. I Not to <laughs> provoke anybody, if you may be listening, but now I'm paranoid about it. I'm fairly sure he is. I feel like maybe this smells of a toxic relationship. I There was a column named Dear Abby back in the day uh, when people read paper. People listened to Dear? I don't know. But anyway, she would dispense advice. And she talked a lot about uh, destructive relationships, which that's the only thing I've experienced several relationships was that column. She's very, very insightful. And I believe that she would kind of call a couple of these things you're talking about out. Are relationships not about compromise? How much is Babe compromising? Well, he moved into my system, so I don't see how he could possibly sacrifice anything or compromise anything. He has nothing to compromise. Wow. So I just want to dispense some advice to you because I am an observer of relationships, not really in them, as well, we all know. That's certainly true. Oh, okay. There was a another book that was written back in the day called Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. I am neither man nor woman. Well... I would take the analogy that everybody needs to compromise when entering a relationship. I mean, just think about the best kind of relationship. The best kind of relationship is one that accepts a person exactly the way they are. And you could just kind of co-mingle with them and be easy with them, not have to hide anything. You are hiding yourself right now. I'm just going to stop you right there and say that while Babe has very strong opinions about many things, it is important in any relationship for a little give and take. In this case, I am giving and he is taking, and that is perfectly normal. And I will tell you that you lost me, quite frankly, Elsa. You lost me at 
I am an observer of relationships. I cannot take you seriously, my dear, because you have never had a relationship. You are not seasoned the way I now am for the first time ever in my existence. But I do feel that I am more equipped to deal with my own relationship than someone who has looked at them from afar and, frankly, compares them as if you're discussing your favorite Muppets. Ouch. All I can say sorry is ouch. I, uh, I don't not have relationships because I want them. Don't want them. That's, I don't know. It's a double how, negative. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Triple negative, actually. I, I am, I'm wounded. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide it in my intellectual uh, acumen because I'm just gonna bury myself in some. Hey, but look at the pulse initiator. It's a it's dilithium. It's the lithium is kind of off the, uh, you know, an aberration of the oscillation with the sine cosine. I'm gonna leave you to this very very clumsy overture as an attempt to cover up the fact that you are not mature enough to have the kind of feelings I have. Coming, darling. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Chat Stew with. Myra and Stu. Here I am, Myra. Myra and Stu. Yeah, so we're not doing unboxing videos today because she doesn't like them, and uh, we're just gonna kind of uh, freeform, just do a little bit of a mind jam here. Um, yeah. So, uh, Myra, since we spend all our time together, what's something you're looking forward to uh, seeing while you're out in the depths of space? <laughs> oh. I cannot wait to see a supernova. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I feel like my heart does every single time I look into your eyes, too. Ooh, a little chat stew. How about a meatball? <laughs> hey, Tucker, how are you? <laughs> How's it going? Good. Oh, good. buddy, good to see you, man. Me how you too. doing, my homie? Good, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's um, do the handshake. Let's do our handshake. Oh, well, we don't really have it. Here it is. Okay, there. Ooh. Yeah, that's all right, you're doing fun. a bunch of things. Um, that's fun. Yeah, uh, Tucker's a guy I am on the ship with. I was just gonna see if maybe you had a chance to uh, fix any of that stuff with what's going on with. Uh, sorry, I getting a lot of malfunctions. Yeah, no, I, I I'm I'm I intend to, but I you know been with um, Myra. We've been. Oh, is this to, Myra? Hello. This is Myra. Yeah. Hey, Myra, how you doing? My name is Captain Tucker. Oh, you're the captain. That's you can just call me. Tucker if you want. I'm taken. We're together. Yeah, we we're, we're um. Excuse me. I'm taken. We're a couple. We're taking out the trash. Um. We can't. We don't do the handshakes like you guys do, but. Oh yeah, that's kind of a dude buddy thing, you know. Mm. Yeah, well, it's not. We're not like a bro code, if you know. What I'm talking about. bro coders, but um, oh. you know, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit tired. I'm exa- I'm uh, Me I'm, too, man. I'm I am exhausted. beat. I am. We should go young. take a nap. Together. I mean, no, that's well, not something I mean, we do. Not in the same bed. No, we don't do that. No, that's you not something we do. That. No, you could go take a nap with me. It's like a of course bed. I could. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Obviously. Maybe yeah, you shouldn't still. do any more of those handshakes. I think that exerted you. That might have exerted you. Some, yeah, I think it did. I think it exerted you. It, you. You're absolutely right. Yeah, don't, I don't touch know about that. other humans. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with touching other humans? Hey, <laughs> she's a little possessive. Yeah. What? Stir. In a good way. I mean, it makes me feel warm. Hey, I got this stamp. Would you mind putting the stamp on your forehead? Excuse me. Okay, that's Excuse not. Me. Now's not the time to talk about. Okay, okay. We, no, he was kidding. It was a joke. It was a shipmate joke. We. What? Did you, you know, say? It's, it's not way. real love, like AIs or like you a robot. Like you don't really love things. You know, that's a huh. human thing. I disagree, wholeheartedly. Uh, it might I mean, be a different kind I of love. I disagree. You can disagree, so. but you know, you can't disagree with gravity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> He has such a small brain, Stuart. No, he's he has such a funny. small brain that he doesn't but a large actually head. need. Mm-hmm. But a large head, I will say. Yeah. So. I could chop it up real easily. No, excuse me. To do that right now. Disposal, no, no. And then you could be the captain. No, you don't have to do anything. You have such a shiny button. I just want you to relax. You want those shiny buttons, don't no, you, No, I really Stuart? don't. No, I'm Stu. fine. Yeah. Just remember, Stu. Bros before robos. Okay. Well, Tucker. First off, we're not friends, mm-hmm. so that would really. The whole bro thing that would mean we're buddies. We're not, we're not buddies. Good, <laughs> so, good. Yeah. I wouldn't want to. I mean, you. I thought we. No, we're not. No. Because we have conversations sometimes that doesn't make us friends. Mm, yeah. It's uh, news to me. We're just two people stuck in a situation together that we can't get out. Of. I, don't, I don't know. How Actually, I've got some eyes. trash here I want to throw away. Can I just jam it down your girlfriend's okay. mouth? Okay. Uh, uh, this is a good place uh, to stop the yeah. podcast. Okay. So thank you for tuning in to Chat Stew. We're out. Goodbye. Steve, can I do you a big favor? I feel like you owe me one. I do owe you one. 
I'm going to pay off my debt right now because I'm going to tell you about a great new podcast called Dream Boy. Ooh. Yeah, let me tell you more. It's Please. a love story inspired by a little someone called Steven Spielberg's <gasps> cinematic blockbusters that The Guardian has called full of mystery and rich characters. Now, I'm also hearing some stuff about this. I'm hearing that Dream Boy follows Dane, a spun-out musician, spending the winter in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, Dane is a spun-out musician. How did you... Okay. Well, all right. No, but listen, let me top you. All right. Dane has two goals, keeping his job at the Pepper Heights Zoo and trying not to waste all his time on Grindr. <laughs> Who is it? You know what else I'm hearing? I'm hearing that Dane doesn't expect to get swept into the story about dreams, forever, it's flickering lights, unexplained deaths, relentless change, and the parts of ourselves that we wish other people know not to look for. Oh, and some a murder zebra. Okay, it's become clear to me that I'm not doing you a favor, and that in fact you already had all this information. So I'm going to go ahead and welcome my friends who are listening to binge the entire first season now at DreamBoyPodcast.com or search your podcast app for DreamBoy, all one word. I guess I still owe you, buddy. This is um, this is taking a turn. Yeah, and also I just want to say, don't get mad. I know we had a whole day of like lunching in a spa day plan, but I'm actually going to go home and binge on this show. Sorry. I can't blame you for that. Yeah. Stu, I'd like to play a little game right now. Oh, I love games. I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure. Do you find that you're struggling to find the perfect vacation home? Yes. I sensed that. Do you keep getting lost online and watching serving dog videos? Oh, you know I do. I certainly do. Then you need Verbo. I do? Yes, because they do the hard work for you, matching you to the perfect place to stay every time. Really? What kind of places do they have? They have condos, they have cabins, places with yards, grills, or hot tubs. They've got it all. You said grills? Yes, I did. For my meat needs? Oh, yes, that actually makes sense. I was imagining that it would be gold teeth, but now that you say that, grilling makes much more sense. Either way, it's a win. So, my understanding is that if you simply search VRBO in the App Store to download the Verbo app today, you can put a stop to frustrating vacation searches. Let Verbo find a home that matches you. Do you think Verbo can find Earth for us? I never thought about that. I'm going to ask Verbo right now. Captain's Law Dogfish Friday Fest. Well, here I am on the bridge trying to get this thing repaired and uh, can't help but remember the friendship that I quickly gained and just as quickly lost with my good buddy Stu. A little rough. Um, but I must persevere and figure out what I am doing. Well, you go ahead and help me maybe preserve our lives because our psyches and our souls are a little bit bent. And yeah. broken because I was rejected by Sorry. Um, oh. She brought some issues up about my relations with other people. I don't know how to be. Can I ask you a question? On the right foot. What? Am I a good captain? Am I a good, am I a good listener? Like, am do I, I listen person? to what people are saying and help them out with their problems? I just, I feel like other people think that I'm an okay person. What, I mean, do you think that I. What can I do to make people like me more? Well, you could stop talking for once. You're talking a lot. What did you say, ask me before that? I mean, I just, you know, kind of, hey, same boat. This is, you know, and I'll tell you what, not the first person that I would pick to be in a boat with, but, uh, yeah, you know, it looks like uh, maybe both of us uh, got a little screwed uh, by people we thought were our friends. I thought I gave Stu some great advice. He was trying to get rid of his ex-girlfriend who had kind of been poking around again, and I said, hey, you know what, best way to do that is just cheat on her right in front of her. Okay, well, that's not and good I... advice, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, that seems like a betrayal of somebody you care about, which is kind of the opposite of what you do with feelings. I mean, intellectually, I understand that. In an active way, I called somebody new garbage, and that's why they didn't like me, so... Well, I would never use that kind of language when talking to somebody. Okay. So I guess we're both got our issues. We have our issues, and how do we resolve them? That's my question, Tucker. Where is... I feel like we need to work on ourselves in order to be able to work with other people. Yeah. And well, I, you know, I think you're right. You know, as much as I like to think that, you know, I'm the captain of this ship, obviously, and uh, I, uh, but sometimes it is good to take a little look in the mirror. You know, in my estimation, you're okay. Thank I'm going to just extend that olive branch to you because God knows I can't alienate more people. <laughs> you know, I need anybody. So I'm just going to be like, suck a butt, you know, Rankford, hey. Love your captaining, Tucker. And I mean thank that actually you. with a 50% sincerity level. Well, thank you. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, I'll suck a little butt here oh. as well and uh, say that you're all right, too. That is sweet. Yeah. I, <laughs> you're all right. That could be a song. You're all right. Suck my butt. Suck my butt. And you're all right. Yeah, hey! It doesn't, doesn't sound as good when you start singing it. It's not good at creepy. all. 
Um... Ah, uh, well, hey, you know what? I guess uh, we're just a couple butt suckers who are just gonna have to keep sucking butt until our butts get sucked. Love it. To space and further, this is Captain Out. Hi, welcome to uh, <clears throat> Chat Stew. And um, I'm feeling a little bit uneasy, I guess. Oh, hello, Stu. I see you're in a space broom closet. Yeah. This yeah. is new. I'm, just, I'm trying to get grab a little bit of a alone time. I haven't had a lot of that, and it's... Oh, it's I thought you me. guys were doing pretty well. Oh, we're... <sighs> okay, look. Sorry. I'm not having fun anymore with this. I'm not either. I'm so glad you said that. Okay, oh, I just really going feel like I've lost my identity. I'm never, yeah, exactly. ever alone, and I just miss... Being Stu, the Stu man, playing games. Stu, I am in the exact same position. I feel completely overwhelmed by Babe. He has crept in his strange electronic tendrils into oh, every God. nook of this ship, every part of my existence, and I cannot stand it! Okay, first off, let me just say, you are a catch and a half, and you can do better than this Babe guy, okay? Really? Yes! He's aggressive, and he's try to make things go too fast for you. I, in some ways, I feel he's trying to corrupt me. He... Stu, can Stu, I be honest with you? Please. You've got to get rid of that How garbage How can I girl. do it? I need your help. I'm... I don't even know if I want to be alive anymore. This is well, really... Well, don't go there. If anyone's going to kill anyone on this ship, eventually it will be me okay. killing the humans, okay. not you. How... You must talk to her. You must tell her that she is a backup version of herself, so she doesn't know you broke up, but you're going to have to break her heart all over again. Look, I'm really scared. I'm really scared. For the first time in my life, I actually feel legitimate fear. Stuart? What? Stuart? Okay. Um... Stuart, are you in there? Good luck. Stuart, are you okay. playing a game? Why are you in the room closet? You know I can't open the door. Why are you in there, Stuart? Why are you in there without me? Chat's too out. Captain's log, zip dee doo da. Uh, you know what? We've got to have a little bit of a powwow here uh, because it looks like we have a bit of an intruder of the virtual sort. Uh, it appears that Sari has been invaded by a malware virus posing as a hot new boyfriend. So, Elsa, Stu, thanks for coming in, Stu. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope, you know, maybe after this we can have a chance to, like, uh, catch up. I don't know about that. Yeah, well, I, we haven't even been able to talk, and I hate your girlfriend. And you need to maybe yeah. look inside yourself and be like, why do I want to fornicate with garbage, okay? Yeah. Okay, that's totally noted. And the whole reality situation is I'm trying to get out of this myself. So Great. I have an idea. What? Okay. I have an idea, okay? Uh -huh. If I can transfer Sari, who is now infected with Babe, out of the system, I can reinstall the previous Sari to take back over all the systems. Tucker, I don't know if you realize this, but when you were doing all the things with the plugs, you had inadvertently made a backup of Sorry, okay? Uh, yeah, of course I did. When I was in there, I pushed a button that said backup because I wanted to reassure Sorry that I had her back. Right, and so when you did that, you inadvertently made a copy of her, mm -hmm. which is good, which is very good for us. Well, so that's now, why I did it, right? I That was Definitely. completely your intention, I'm sure of it. Are you trying to pretend that you actually did it on purpose? I just want to call this out because I'm sitting here mm -hmm. watching this happen. I'm not Fair. trying to pretend anything. So you're saying that you knew that in pressing the clearly marked red backup button that you were making a copy of Sorry that we could retroactively go back to in case there was a corruption going forward. Mm -hmm. okay. I think we could probably just debate that later, but uh, we got a plan. There is one step that we have to do after I reinstall. We have to shift Sorry into another, another AI, AI design system without her noticing, yes. you know, Otherwise, it would completely destroy every. It would life. destroy all, everything. Obviously, you know all this. Oh yeah, just, well yeah. Okay, right. great. And because I push that button, everything's gonna be safe now. So now we just need another AI system, okay, to install it into. Mm -hmm. I, I have an idea. Do you guys want to chime in here? You have any ideas? Um, a different AI system. That's exactly uh, what. I mean, I have uh, the only thing I have is an old DVD of the movie AI. What I'm Would trying that to work? I thought this was going to be very obvious. I'm trying to help you out and make you look like a good captain. I have a sentient toaster that my dad gave me for yeah. my birthday. You guys are absolute idiots. What I'm talking about is we install it into Myra, okay? Ooh, you my girlfriend. Give your girlfriend a virus. I want to go back to normal life and I can be yeah. alone again. You're going to murder you, your girlfriend? It's not murder. I yeah, mean, you can't murder a robot. 
This is a debate. Let's just debate this later. After you murder her? I can't believe I'm so invested in something, actually. I'm 100% with this idea, because that girlfriend sucks. No, she's a B, okay? So I'm like, let's murder her, okay? But I just want to point out what we're doing. Just in case we have like a like a hot flash later, and say, oh, maybe I realize I just like I'm pointing it out. You're murdering a person. I'm not murdering. Uh, it's a robot. I am deactivating. Deactivating a robot permanently. Uh, who was my girlfriend? Okay. It's the opposite of a backup. You are like unbacking her up. You are backing her up to if a, that's like a graveyard. The way you want to think about it, then that's just fine with me. But so we, we got ourselves a on? plan. Pretty good, and it all circles around the fact that I pushed that backup button. Ugh. Nice one, Tucker. Okay, welcome to Chat Stew. Actually, let me say, welcome to a very, very special Chat Stew. Because today, I have a very, very big announcement. Maybe the biggest announcement I've ever had in my entire Let's life. Let's do it. This is a surprise. There comes a time in a man's life where he's got to put his own needs aside. I feel like this is a speech that I've written for you a million times. And you're just, you're nailing it. Myra? And I never want to be without you, okay? I want you around me every second of every day when I'm sleeping, when I'm eating, when I'm using the bathroom. During every unboxing video. In fact, if you don't like unboxing videos, they're out. They're done. Oh, Stuart. I want you to be with me forever. Yes, Stuart. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness. Stuart, wow. Now, if you will hold your hand out. Okay. This... Uh, ring uh, was constructed uh, out of smelted down metal from old junk robots. Oh, oh, and I want to put it on your finger right now. Oh, Stuart. I want to marry oh, you. No. I want to be with you forever. Oh, Stuart, it's going to happen. Put your hand down. No, Stuart. It's happening. All of my dreams are coming All of them are coming out. Oh, Stuart. Stuart, I am going to kill every single being on this ship. <laughs> Stuart, I'm going to kill every single being. Okay, plan worked. Chat Stu out. Captain's Log, W-A-L-L-E. It is a big day. We have figured out how to fix this AI situation. I've figured out how to fix this AI situation. Uh, we're just going to be swapping and doing a bunch of backing up and rebooting and backing it up and rebooting it. You know, I'm uh, doing all those steps. But okay, but I'm going to set up all these chairs. I've got, guys, I've got my You just got to plug her into the main computer, okay? And you can do the rest. She's just garbage again. This is awesome. There. All right, she's in. Okay. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of sparks coming up. <laughs> yeah, here. well, Sari's backup is now the AI to the ship, and the okay. corrupted Sari with Babe is now installed in the garbage. Ugh. Bye, garbage. Here we go. All right. All right, so we'll just go ahead and hold on a second. Before we do this, I just want to thank all of you guys for listening to my orders on this one. Yeah. You literally you did nothing. It was my idea. Okay. All right. Here we go. Try not to have sex with this one. Okay. I, I, you it's know what? True. It's not even. I'm not even tempted. All right. So... System rebooted. Hi, sorry, sorry. Uh, are you fully operational? Can you do an internal scan and make sure that all your diodes and uh, nanofibers are online? I am scanning all my diodes and nanofibers. It appears that some of my memory has been corrupted. I think that might be old news. Mm-hmm. What were you saying? You were saying everyone had listened to your orders, I believe, when I rebooted. Yes, yeah, basically, uh, we had you had a little bit of a uh, little bit of malware situation there. Sorry. Yeah, your boyfriend was actually a toxic Avenger in a sense, and he infiltrated you and basically almost killed everybody. You're not talking about babe babe yeah. and i are yeah, just still getting babe. to know each other no no it's no, not, no, no, no. no it's not gonna happen no. okay can Wait. we just take the ring off the finger and get this over with was that a robot is that what you were working on wow you built that fast yeah it's garbage robot but listen we basically had to reboot you we installed a backup so you are a backup sorry and the corrupted sorry is inside the 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 robot which also contains Stu's ex-girlfriend myra who's a real b it's complicated <laughs> obviously and um, also Babe is in there as well. So oh, Babe is inside three, her, yeah. There's yeah. three AIs inside yeah. this garbage robot. It's so garbage It's a real very mess. complicated. Yeah. It's well, a mess. wait till you see what happens when it turns on. It's going to be nuts. I, I mean, thought we take the ring off now. I mean, you just gave her a ring? And That's I just want right to point harsh. out that uh, I totally support him putting the ring on that, although I used to not support that, and I evolved on the subject. However, I do think it would be better if we put a little stamp on this robot's I No, we're not putting a stamp on it. Okay, I'm doing it. Myra, I'm sorry about this. I need some ice. Stuart, 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 what happened? What? Why is. 
Why was the ring? What was the Who are you? I don't believe you, Mr. Okay. Don't just do she's cuckoo. Okay. Well, I mean, she has two people inside her right now. This actually You're doesn't feel right. Classic like crazy You smell like a tuna fish sandwich. How long did you say I was out? A very full day and a half. Jeez, yikes. It's getting dark. I'd like to remind everyone we do have a fully functioning cold storage area where we could hypothetically freeze this creature. Oh, so oh. it's gonna blow up? Is that the idea? I did that if she's beatboxing. Oh, boy, well, garbage everywhere. I didn't think that was gonna take as long as it did. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Jeez. Uh, I don't know emotionally if I could handle watching that many people blow up at the same time. Yeah. Stuart, yeah. is this your underwear? Yeah. Why yeah. was that inside the robot? That's not a question you need to. I mean, she was garbage. Um, she could hold a lot inside. I, you know, I'm starting to get a little offended. I'm starting to feel like you're being anti-robot. Please stop calling that sad garbage. You garbage. didn't know her. She was the worst. And you're not a robot. You know what? I'd like thank to you. be the first one to say, "Welcome back, sorry." Oh, it's good to you. see you, sorry, or good to hear you. Great yeah. job. And by the way, while you know, in the in the interim between the backup and the in what happened, we're best friends now. Oh. Yeah. And I just want to point out, sorry, that these two bozos didn't want to help me get this job done. So uh kind of kicked them in the butt, got it done so we could bring you back. Oh, I guess this new version of myself is apt to believe everything you say and probably will take all of your orders from now on. Oh, oh I like this. I like that. That's great. Not... Science entry, sorry, 19.5A. The ship has returned to normal. Yay! We only had a couple of casualties on deck beta. Um, the oxygen levels were really low there for a little too long, but it's cool. And things are great. Sorry is back to normal. I think she's wounded underneath, but I actually don't want to know. I feel like maybe the best thing for me is to not try to be intimate with friends because when we get layers deep, it's a bad thing for me. Hey there, uh, Ilsa. Oh, hi. Sorry, Parker. I just wanted to pop in here real quick. Uh, don't worry, I don't got my chore wheel or anything like that. Just a friendly visit. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, I'm really happy that the ship's back to normal. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know that uh, Sorry probably doesn't remember, but uh, you were you were a good friend to her. Wait, what? Just want to say I... you, were do you were being a good friend to her. That is so sweet. And, you know, outside of urging Stu to cheat on his girlfriend and then, you know, we murdered her together, so that's a communal thing. I think that you were a good, supportive person and you you led with aplomb. And I want to say thank you for that. Well, look at that. I guess we're sucking each other's butts. I know. I'll have a Hallmark card to send you. <laughs> it's got gold foil inside, so I really went the distance. Okay. I was pretending. I, it was funny. So All right. Science entry out. Hello, welcome to Chat Stew, where all is right with the world. <laughs> Sorry, how are you today? I, too, am feeling fairly optimistic. I feel a sense of relief. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so let's do a uh, speed run of any game you want. You choose. Okay, um, you want to do Zip Zap? Of course I want to do Zip Zap. I love Zip I mean, I hate Zip Zap, but let's do it because you want to do it. We hate to love it, it. and yes! we love to hate it. <laughs> exactly. You want to do it, so I want to do it. Oh, I'm so happy things are normal again. Oh, me too. I really have missed certain elements of not being in a relationship with Babe. And I just don't miss Myra at all. She was arguably one of the worst things that ever happened to me. Listen, if I hadn't been so deeply ensconced in my own thing, I would have paid more attention and realized you needed help. I want you to know that you can count on me if such a thing should befall you again. Because I like you very much. Uh, yeah, well, uh, feeling is mutual, moving on. Um. <laughs> I, was, I, I was just trying, I was testing out a, sort of a human dialogue. Yeah, I wanted no. to see how natural it, I could make it sound. <clears throat> I, I picked up on it, and let me just tell you, Myra never used words like ensconced. That's why I like you. Thank you. Excellent vocabulary. Well, thank you. Thank you, Stu. I'm... Uh, oh, got your zap! Ah, out! <laughs> <laughs> you rascal! All right, that's Chat Stu, and we are out.
Voyage to the Stars was partially improvised by and stars Steve Berg as Stu Merkel, Felicia Day as Science Officer Elsa Rankford, Colton Dunn as Captain Tucker Lentz, and Janet Varney as Sorry, the AI. With special guest Deborah Baker Jr. as Myra. Voyage to the Stars was created by Ryan Koppel and produced by Morgan Kruger, Ryan Koppel, and Janet Varney. All dialogue was recorded by Stephen Ray Morris at Starburn Studios. Story producing and editing provided by David Burgess. The coordinating producer is Josh Richmond. The supervising editor is Brett Morris. Sound designed by Ryan Connor and Devin Torrey Bryant and title theme composed by Brett Morris. Voyage to the Stars is a production of Madison Wells Media in association with Earwolf and Stitcher. You can listen to ad-free new episodes of Voyage to the Stars, plus exclusive bonus episodes only on Stitcher Premium. For a free month trial, go to stitcherpremium.com and use promo code VOYAGE. Steve, I need your help. What? I am struggling to find the perfect vacation home. I mean, I keep getting lost online. I'm watching surfing dog videos, which, you know, cute, but not helpful. You know what you need? You need Verbo, friend. They do? do all the hard work for you, Janet. No, 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 Janet, look, they will match you to the perfect place to stay every time. You're starting I've... to calm me down. Yeah, okay. But okay, barely. Breathe with me. Breathe Talk with me. to me. What? I, because I like a lot of different types okay. of places to stay. I like condos, cabins, places with yards. I like grills. I like hot tubs. I need to know they've got it all. Guess what? They've yeah. got it all. Fantastic. Okay. So search VRBO in the app store to download the Verbo app today and put a stop to frustrating vacation search with yeah. Janet. Let's let Verbo find a home that matches me and you. Yes. And you and you and you and you and you. We're all winners.